Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins, and welcome to the Black Money Minute. Uh, a lot of you have had conversations about Big Pharma, and uh, I thought it would be fun to explain exactly what people mean when they talk about Big Pharma and why uh, every person who understands anything about economics and money, particularly myself, I'm a finance professor, as you know, would have some concerns about Big Pharma and whether or not the money overwhelms the incentive to do the right thing. So let me give you some quick statistics that I got from a site called emedcert.com that will help give you some perspective on Big Pharma, why some people don't trust it, and why you may want to do your research and, and question whether or not their goal is to make you healthy or to make sure their bank account stays healthy. Uh, here's the first stat. Nearly 70% of all Americans are on at least one prescription drug. Over half of Americans take two prescription drugs and 20% of Americans are on five prescription drugs, according to the Mayo Clinic. For every $1 pharmaceutical companies spend on R&D for a new drug, research and development, they spend $19 on advertising. Okay, that's pretty cool. Interesting. 51% of drugs prescribed to Americans are generics, but they only make 8% of the total amount spent on drugs. The other 49% are drugs with exclusive marketing rights, which makes up 92% of the total drug spending. So that kind of says that money and marketing are big in the drug game. Uh, you know, this Pablo Escobar, big worm from the movie Friday kind of thing is going on where they're trying to make that money. The next stat that's really interesting is that the percentage markup of Xanax is 570,000%. That means that the consumer cost per 100 tablets is $137.79, while the cost of the active ingredients is about two pennies, uh, actually 2.4 cents to be precise. In 2013, the total amount spent on drugs was $329.2 billion. That's roughly $1,000 per person. In the United States, the cost of prescription drugs rises 12% every year, far greater than the rate of inflation. In 2012, of the 12 new-to-market drugs approved by the FDA, 11 of them were priced above $100,000 per patient per year. That's back in 2012, almost a decade ago. Can't imagine what it must be now. Next, the worldwide pharmaceutical market revenue in 2013 was $980 billion, almost twice as much as it was only 10 years before, which was $498 billion. Next, Check this out. This is going to freak you out. Over 70 million Americans take mind-altering drugs. So that means that you got 70 million people out here who are not in their right mind. That's a scary fact just because. Our last one is one in four senior citizens skip doses of their prescribed medications in an attempt to reduce the amount of money they have to spend on drugs. So now if you ever hear somebody say, I don't trust Big Pharma, I'm not here to tell you to agree or disagree. I'm just here to tell you that maybe they have a point. My name is Dr. Boyce Watkins. Thank you for listening to the Black Money Minute. If you'd like to learn more about wealth and economics, join us at theblackbusinessschool.com. We have 148,000 students all around the world, and we are here to make sure that black wealth is our number one priority and that we build the community for the future. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.